そしてその土地足元の方からこうという音が来てそしてこうジャンプするような感じになってその次にこう横揺れが来た時母のことが心配になったのでその横揺れの状態のところを走って打つに来た時母はここにここの戸を開けてわーわーあの叫んでおりました。うつの周りはとても静かなあの環境の良いところでした村全体も同じような状態でありましただいたい今の土にしてみればうつの前があの水田米米の小金色になった稲穂が全体的に目渡せるとても良いところでしたが原発によってそれが見えなくなったことがとても残念でなりません。Three years ago,、uh, Japanese government、uh, made、uh, three methods、uh, to decontaminate、uh, the、uh, farmland.、Uh, one is the soil stripping method. But、uh, the problem is、uh, well, when we use the topsoil stripping method,、uh, where, where is the、uh, destination of Or such kind of or contaminated soil.、Uh, as you see、uh, the day before yesterday,、uh, there are piles of、uh, black bags. Already almost three and a half years have passed, and the farmers cannot cultivate the farmland. So、uh, I think. Uh, we need、uh, to develop、uh, another method. If we cleared the 5 to 10 centimeter top layer off every soil in the world, we'd all die. And that's a simple fact because we take all the organic matter, that really nice growing layer where plants get a lot of their nutrients, and we remove it. There's nothing left to grow things. And you could see it as we drove along. These fields that had been cleared, and there was nothing, not, not even weeds growing on them, because the, you know, the fertility of that soil had been drastically reduced. The idea that Miso had was to remediate these fields with tools that they had right there,、uh, right in the farmer's、uh, shed. Two things are, that are kind of serendipitous. One, 
that we have smectitic and illite clays that bind these cesium atoms. Two, we have these, these paddy fields that will hold this water and they flood irrigate them anyway. So two good things. So what happens is we take this rototiller uh, in some way, either by hand or by tractor, we mix this soil up, the clay, sand, and silt all go into this muddy solution. The sand and the, the silt drop to the bottom and then we have this clay in suspension and clay will stay, stay in suspension for several hours. And so we have this nice suspension. Now all we have to do is pull all that water through kind of a hole in the dike of the rice field and into the ditch. The rest of the story is what, what was still in the soil. So Misa went through with his group and he measured that and the radiation levels did drop considerably. And then the, the rice that they produced from that field, they, they went and harvested it last year, which was, was, uh, was the year that, that we were kind of working in the area, and then again this year, and, and tested it. And, 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 and so those test data indicate that this, this rice is perfectly fine to eat, uh, that, 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 that there's really no problem with it. <laughs> I think this desire to really take science to the common man and to try to use science to, to, to help with problems that, that people have, especially farmers, is one of the great characteristics uh, of Mizo, that he has this great empathy to, that he can really feel the pain of people who go through challenging times, especially because of his background in farming. He can, you know, reach out with his science to try to s solve some important problems. So I believe there our future agriculture has a big dream. So uh, I'd like to teach um, such possibility to uh, young generation. That's my uh, duty <laughs> um, as a professor at the University of Tokyo. Nanin